We are gathering here at the Gallery Curators for Art Projects in Wynwood Art District in Miami. And we are presenting one of the artists participating in my new curated show uh, titled Oblique Perspective that is going to be from April 19 till May 17, 2014. And we are here with Amalia Muido, which is one of the uh, most important painters in this show, and she is going to be talking to us about her work, and she is going to be uh, telling you what, is, what she wants to express. Amalia, where are you from? Explain us a little bit about your life, and where you're from, where were you born, what country, etc. First of all, it's a pleasure for me to be at your gallery. Thanks a lot, Milagros. And I am from Argentina, Buenos Aires. I was born and raised there. And for me, it's a pleasure to be in this show today. And uh, well, now she's going to be explaining all the purposes in her work. This is one of my latest work. It's called Wolf, or in Spanish, Lobo. It has to do with the song of Duran Duran, Hungry Like a Wolf. And it's a wolf in a full moon. I'm very fond of astrological stuff also, about colors and all that stuff. And it's in email with some kind of glitter and a kind of collage. I really appreciate what's going on inside, inside this painting. This artwork is called A Morning Heart. It's for someone that went away, but I wanted to make it like, even though it went away, it's something like happy, like it make it like kind of some kind of travel with a plane, like you can see some, that person again anywhere or in another world. And I play a lot with collage in this kind of work with lots of plain colors. I like to use strong colors, glitter, some collage, some keychains, and different abstract pieces I go finding like leaves that they, they represent for me like some kind of creation also. This is one of my favorite artworks. I study, I also study astrology uh, besides of painting and this is one of my night elf charts my astrological information all in one painting and it has also kind of protection I use like the Turkish or the Greek eye and also a pieces of quartz I like to make collage besides the playing with different kinds of colors so this is one of my favorite paintings where you can find little information that if you are fond of astrological or esoterical stuff you can see it it's also you can look into the world of astrological things and get the information and then go home and research for what you can see in my painting. Here I'm with one of my favorite horses. It's called Last Carousel Spin. I make lots of work with carousel horses. It reminds me also about my childhood and all that innocent stuff I'm always speaking about. And this one is full of carousel, full of tickets when you get into the carousel and I'm playing with fluor colors like and I also think I like carousel because of the way that they, you turn around like circles in life which you start something I like to finish it and also like the natal charts that I spoke before and I think everything has a cycle in life are a series of little houses made of different things I'm very fond of. Some of them has like these worry not dolls from Guatemala, like the ones you used to wear on your pillow before going to sleep. Others are made of lots of kisses because of the passion. I'm a very passionate woman, as you can tell from the colors I like. I try to put passion in everything I want and everything I'm fond of. Another house is full of astrological information. I chose the Gustav Klimt natal chart to work with. The other house is made from money bills from different parts of the world, like Uruguay, South Africa, Argentina, Switzerland, 
I like, like to play, it's like a mini bank. <laughs> <laughs>